boom what is up you guys welcome back to a, another day another awesome video another beautiful day here in San Luis Obispo today we're gonna be reviewing my 2014 Scion TC um, and so with that being said let's jump right into it I just want to start off by saying that this car is absolutely awesome, uh, especially it's the absolutely amazing car for the bang for the buck, um, for performance, for reliability, for practicality, all of the above. Uh, this car really hits each mark really well. Um, you know, a lot of cars you could get are absolutely awesome, but they just, they lack in a lot of areas. This car overall is really well balanced, and that was one of my favorite things about it. Uh, but we're going to start talking about some of the interior stuff, exterior stuff, some interesting features, um, some things that I don't like about the car, um, and I'll also go over on how it drives and all that. Uh, but with that being said, let's jump into the first thing about this car, which is its reliability. Uh, so this car is extremely reliable. One of the main reasons I bought it. Because it's a Toyota and because it's a very simple uh, four cylinder with a very simple but fun performance drivetrain, it is very fast, reliable, sporty, and practical. Um, you know, reliability in cars is very important. You, unless you're looking at buying something strictly for performance, for example, my Boxster, uh, that car was never meant to be practical. Luckily, I actually can use it as a, a driver, a daily, a daily driver, blah, but I usually don't. This car is tipping my daily driver. That was bought as a sporty, you know, just weekend car. This car, because it's reliable and because it's practical, is my daily driver. So this car is absolutely amazing as a daily driver. It is also amazing as a uh, sports car, kind of just cruising around car, something to work on, you know, a project car. There is a lot you could do with this car. It is very fun. It is very easy to work on. It has great, absolutely amazing uh, products that you can install to upgrade the performance, the looks, uh, and different aspects of the car, um, which is absolutely amazing in a car like this. I bought this car used with 20,000 miles on it, so pretty much new, but 20,000 miles on it, I paid 13.58 for this car, which is fantastic ultimately this car is amazing because it's very practical very reliable and the price point is amazing you get this amazing car for pretty much fourteen thousand dollars and just like that i'm here in the back of my car i have both these seats where a person would actually sit to drive or as a passenger the passenger seat has a huge amount of leg room uh when i have people in here they could pretty much recline almost all the way back and still have a huge amount of space i've had tall people in about like by like six seven and taller in the back of this car and fit no problem right now i'm sitting all the way back relaxed and comfortable where and this seat is where i drive when i uh, drive this car and my feet have tons of room i can almost stretch them out all the way i have this huge amount of space i have cup holders back here it's so comfortable the seats are amazing i have a uh, sunroof as well I have this nice open cabin area, windows, and I feel very sporty and enclosed at the same time. I have more than enough space. This, and it also seats three people back here. I have more than enough space where I'm sitting right now. I'm sitting in the middle seat. I have so much space. I have plenty of headroom, comfortable, and you can't beat it. It's absolutely amazing. And so that's one of the uh, many things I love about this car is the just spaciousness, the sportiness, the practicality, and the reliability are unbelievable and undoubtedly perfect. So if you guys look here, everything in the driver view is focused on the driver. You know, the screen, the controls, focused on me. All the buttons, everything is focused on me. The steering wheel, focused on me, or the driver. You know, everything on this car is focused on the driver. It is not focused on passenger don't get me wrong i think it's great to have things focused on the passenger that's why i like the position of this because my passengers can still control my whole you know screen and all that and control who's bluetoothing what music what's playing blah 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 um but the biggest thing is from a sports car perspective having a driver focused driving position is critical 
And I think TC and San nailed it spot on having everything tilted and focused to the driver. It gives just this spectacular view um, to drive and to focus on and really makes it easy. So that's one thing I love about this car. Um, some other main things I really want to cover with the review are going to be outside. So I want to quickly take a step outside where we can cover the rest. So we'll see you out there. All right, so now moving on to the outside of the car. One of the biggest things I love about this car is the looks, but I think the TC is an absolute outstanding looking car. Do keep in mind, I've done a lot of work to my car, so it doesn't, is no longer stock, it's very far from it. But ultimately the overall look is very stock and it's very easy to duplicate what I did to an extent. And that's what I love about this car is working on it, uh, doing, changing looks and stuff. So easy, so affordable, and so fun. You can change the entire look of the car. Um, so that's why I think one of the biggest things on this car is the look. And here we are now inside the, the trunk of my car where you can see I have my racing helmet. I have a backup uh, emergency kit. I have a car cleaner, all my car cleaning supplies, my racing gloves, and more car cleaning supplies. And I have a huge amount of space left over. This trunk is amazing it fits so much i could go on long road trips in this car and fit a bunch not only that the because of the design the seats fold down and give to it immensely huge space so i could fold this down and fit a huge amount of stuff in this car and it's amazing i'm actually about to do a quick acceleration test hopefully my camera can hold on here we're getting onto the freeway so like as you guys can hear the shifting is really quick super smooth and super fun um, that's the one thing I love about this car is the transmission is fantastic. It really smoothly puts that power straight to the tires, straight to the road. And the sound is amazing. The shift sound, I don't know if my camera's picking it up, but it's quick, it snaps, it's just this fun, sporty car. So for example, if I want to daily drive this, put it in just economy or whatever you want to call it, quiet, fun, you know, Ease onto the throttle to make sure my camera doesn't fly off. Wow. Yes, it's not as fast as the box, but it is so quick. So again, just listen to the shifts. Very quick, very smooth. Driving position is fantastic. I have everything focused on me. Um, and you know, as a driver, a, especially in sports cars, that's important. It's a key piece um, to be in. So this car is just fantastic. I mean, there's so many things about it that I love. There's very few things I actually don't like. Um, and you guys can also hear the sound is amazing. I'll quickly roll down the window, see if I can get a good sound toss for you guys. Here we are finishing up the video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that review. It is actually day two. Um, I couldn't finish the video last night because the sun went down. Uh, but that was good news is I got a haircut last night uh, by my beautiful girlfriend and it looks absolutely amazing. So shout out to her for that. But with that being said guys, the TC, such an amazing car. This car truly is fantastic. It's so fun and so nice to own and drive and have. It is reliable, it is practical, it is affordable, it is fun, it is sporty. It is overall just amazing. So I highly recommend buying a, this car if you guys are looking for uh, in the market for a car like this. Uh, but that being said, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. 
Every like and subscriber helps. I mean, seriously guys, I've been getting so much positive feedback recently and it's absolutely amazing. I've had people text me saying, how do you do this? Or uh, how'd you do this to your car? Can you help me do this? Or just in general saying, I love your channel, love this, blah, blah, blah. So thank you guys so much. I really can't thank you guys enough. But with that being said, be sure to like and subscribe, especially if you want to see more awesome content because I have so much coming, especially to the Porsche and this car. Uh, but that being said, guys, I will see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Be sure to be you, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.